so now let's look at the next type here and uh, let me just show you one question and we'll see how we can solve that supposing if i ask you uh, find y n like n the differentiation and if i give you y is equal to x cube sin x okay this is not in any of the standard form right first of all we have a we have a n the differentiation of sin x we can deal with that or we can even deal with x cube but then now it's a product okay now if you have a product okay it's like this supposing if you have say y is equal to u into v it's a product of two terms now if you want to find out a differentiation okay and this is basically i'm talking about the simple differentiation the first differentiation if i have to differentiate this i'll write down this as y is equal to okay that will let me let me call this as y1 okay that's like the first differentiation how do we do that it's a product rule right u remains as it is and derivative of v is v dash then v remains as it is and derivative of u is u dash we know this formula already but then now this formula is a product tool and this works only if you are if you are finding the first differentiation okay and the question over here is not asking about the first differentiation we want to find the nth differentiation now how do we do that or uh, there is a formula to that so if i have to differentiate this n time so if i want to differentiate or rather nth differentiation if i want to find out okay which i will write this as y n okay this can be written as okay, nth derivative of u u n and the v term as it is that's how the first term is going to be now just see how it is this is a standard formula by the way this formula is called as leibniz rule this leibniz rule of nth differentiation of a product of two terms okay let's write that now okay coming back to this uh the end derivative of u term and v term as it is that was my first term of the answer of yn then the next term will be this is nc1 okay you have to reduce this so it becomes u of n less 1 and now the first derivative of v is going to be v1 and so on and so forth just keep writing like this the next term will be plus nc2 and this will become u of n minus 2 and this will be v2 and next term will be okay now you tell me how is it has go how is going to be the next term the next term is going to be nc3 u of n minus 3 v3 and so on okay and that's how we write down n the differentiation when you have a product of the two terms and which has happened here we have a product of two terms okay so we have to we got to write this as u into v and we have to find the n the differentiation so if i want to find out the answer to this i'll say by leibniz rule okay i'll apply leibniz rule and find out the nth derivative so i'll get this as y of n is equal to now there is one very important point that i want you to note let me write that down as well note here you have to choose v properly okay that's and and and, and just remember this 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 part very well that you have to choose v such that its higher derivative should become zero now what i mean by that i should choose x cube as v and this as u and not otherwise the v has to be x cube i'll tell you why because if i keep on differentiating x cube its higher derivative is going to be zero right and that's the criteria for choosing v so i'll write another note that choose v such that its higher differentiation becomes zero choose v such that its higher differentiation becomes zero okay and that then it's going to work out just fine so let me just solve this question for you okay it's like here okay i've got a small space to work this whole thing out okay well you will use this formula okay so if i want to write on y of n what is going to be u n well u is sin x and u n clearly means the end differentiation and end differentiation of sin x we've just done that formula what was the formula uh, if you have sin of ax plus b the nth differentiation is going to be a raised to n sin of ax plus b plus n pi by 2 i hope you remember this okay we have already derived that formula so we're going to use that formula now and that's going to be a un right so the un value u is over here which is sin x that's the formula i'm going to use and i'm going to write down this 
uh, well a is just one isn't it so it's going to be sin x plus n pi by 2 now well this is un now i'll write v as it is so v value is going to be x cube x cube remains added that's my first term and the next term is going to be n c1 u n minus 1 look if from u n if you want to find out u of n minus 1 what will you do you have u n over here to find u of n minus 1 just replace n by n minus 1 okay so it's going to be sine of x plus n minus 1 pi by 2 and v1 that's the first derivative of v so if you have v as x cube x cube the first derivative is going to be 3x square i hope you understood that and the next term is going to be plus okay that term is going to be nc2 and u of n minus 2 for that you have to just write n as n minus 2 this is going to be sine of x plus n minus 2 pi by 2 well that's u of n minus 2 and the second derivative of this thing is going to be 6x okay the next term is going to be plus nc2 this will become sine of x plus n minus 3 pi by 2 and this the derivative of this is going to be 6 and the next term huh, finally we get 0 right and and that's that's how we usually work out Leibniz formula and then we can simplify this a little bit I hope you already know that nc1 value is going to be just n okay and then we'll write nc2 as n n minus 1 upon 2 factorial and this is actually nc3 and what is the value of nc3 it's going to be n n minus 1 n minus 2 upon 3 factorial so you got to simplify this a little bit not much but then this is your final expression this is like the expression for nth differentiation okay using Leibniz rule now if I have to take a quick recap of this whole thing that whenever you have product of two terms like u into v we have a product rule for finding one differentiation now instead of finding one differentiation in this case I want to find nth differentiation so supposing if I want to find nth differentiation I will use Leibniz rule right and how does the Leibniz rule work uh, you have to decide what is u and what is v rather you have to decide what is v and v is such that its higher derivative has to become zero okay once you choose v like that uh, just remember the first term the first term is going to be u and v I hope you can imagine this is nc0 over here just see the trend nc0 nc1 nc2 nc3 dot dot, dot. then un un minus 1 un minus 2 un minus 3 dot, dot dot then first start with v as it is then v1 v2 v3 and dot dot that's that's how this uh, Leibniz rule works now we will see some more questions where we can actually use Leibniz rule and solve for nth differentiation okay that's going to be the next question